Welcome back to the 43rd annual MLK Day Parade. Local 10, the only station bringing you live coverage of this wonderful parade. We are having the oldest, the longest running parade. So many people out here. We have been with you since 11 o'clock and it has just been spectacular. The food, the, the community, everybody coming together on this glorious day to remember and honor Dr. Martin Luther King. You were just looking at Sabrina Fulton there, of course, uh, her son's death made national and international headlines. Um, she's just behind us right now. She's running now for the Miami-Dade County Commission. Her son, Trayvon Martin, who was gunned down by George Zimmerman back in 2012. But right now, again, she's running for the Miami-Dade County Commission seat, and she is right behind us yeah. as we speak. And um, she is also a graduate of Florida Memorial University, the historically black university right here in South Florida. FMU, the Fighting Lions. And uh, she's certainly trying to get her name out right now. She lives in Miami yes. Gardens as well. We have seen many politicians out here trying to get their name out and trying to meet and greet the community. We've seen a lot of them come on up and shake hands with everybody out here. So it has been quite the day. So many organizations out here, our police officers, our waste management that we just saw earlier, Children's Trust, Jackson Ryder Trauma Center. You know, and here's what we'd like to do. We'd like to go to our morning anchors here but we're going to be kind of selfish, uh, JC and Eric, because we have the Miami Northwestern Bulls that are right down the block, just a couple of blocks away. So when they come up right behind us, we're going to kindly ask for it back so we can show them because they are truly one of the awesome marching bands here in South Florida. But for now, JC and Eric will send it to you where you are. And we are having way too much fun. Way too much fun. <laughs> we are at the beginning of this great parade, Northwest 54th Street and Northwest 12th, Northwest 12th Avenue. Cavill was just talking about Northwestern and that, that band. We had a sneak preview because we're at the beginning. So all the we bands, did. all the music, we get to hear it first. They are phenomenal. And that is my favorite part. Yeah. I mean, I love the floats. Yeah. I love the, the motorcycles and the bike riders. I love all of it. But the marching bands yes. and the dancers and these musicians, they just break it down and we've been dancing with them all day out here. And by the way, just so you know, as you continue to watch our live coverage here at Local 10, there are a lot of bands coming down the pike. We've seen maybe four or five different bands playing over the course of the last 15 to 20 minutes or so. Okay, well I think they're going to listen to one right now because I think we have to send it back to the main stage because you guys have a treat waiting for you right now. And we'll go right to it. the Miami Northwestern Band, the Bulls in the house. Let's listen in.
looking in right now at the Miami Northwestern High School football marching band. One of the best in the country. Their mascot, the Bulls, of course. If you talk to them, they say, yes, we are the Bulls. <laughs> Calvin, you said high school, right? Because That's this right. looks like a professional <laughs> marching band dancer squad. They look amazing. I'm glad you talk about that because they have a signature strut made famous and led by Tracy Young Byron. The Golden and, Girls out there. And you see those Golden Girls do that strut, and you know, yes, they are the one and only when it comes to that. We hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. The famous blue and gold. The famous blue and gold. Check them out. The Bulls, Northwestern. Everything has been absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And what a way to close. Then with the blue and gold, yeah. we thank you all so much for joining us. Alongside Calvin Hughes, I am so honored to be here today and to bring you the 43rd <laughs> annual MLK Day Parade. We hope you enjoyed this parade. And uh, for those people who are out here, they have a lot more to go because this parade is not about to come to an end. There is a post party. And our Laren Livingston will have much more on that coming up on Local 10 News at 3, 4, 5, 6, at 11 o'clock tonight. We thank you for joining us. For Nicole Perez, I'm Calvin Hughes. Make it a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone. We're talking four decades of tradition. The Martin Luther King Jr. Parade has all kinds of fans, thousands of people coming out. We thank you for, hard, for the hardship that you went through to, for us to be at this point. What it really represents is this community connecting and reconnecting on a day like this. Look at them, look at them go. We have some cheerleaders out there doing their thing. The energy's high. Yes. People are excited, you hear the noise. What does this mean to you, Boom? A lot. This is a view of the many folks who are in this parade. Dr. King stood for justice. We can come together as a people. But he's all offended, he's all offended, look at him. It's really to live up to his expectations and the wishes that he had for everybody to be united and come as one.